Roads were dotted with abandoned vehicles during the last storm. And as News 13's Evan Donovan shows us, the threat of power outages, a big concern. I'm here inside Duke Energy's Wenwood Operation and Distribution Center, where crews behind me are picking and packing equipment and supplies to send all throughout the Carolinas in anticipation of the upcoming winter storm. This facility is not only an operations center for Duke Energy line crews serving Greenville, but also a supply chain distribution center. We serve uh, 21 operation centers from here from a material standpoint. Those centers from Greenwood, South Carolina to Robbinsville, North Carolina were told at 6.30 this morning to adjust staffing and check inventory. Well, we certainly want to be at our stocking levels, uh, but in anticipation of a storm, we want to make sure that we've got extra material of certain types based on the type of allergies we expect. Crews are picking and packing this shipment to go to the Anderson Operations Center. These are typically mounted up on a pole and it's a fuse connect. When the fuse blows, it falls out like this. Based on past storms, they know what parts will be needed most. This being an ice and snow event, we're looking for things like poles, cross arms, transformers, wire cables, splices, those kinds of things that the crews would need to be putting back up in the air to get the power back on. Meanwhile, at Greenville's Public Works supply site, crews there are receiving shipments of sand and other supplies and prepping their snow plows to be ready for the storm. Public Works crews here in Greenville have been getting ready for the storm by preparing this salt and sand mixture to spread on the roads. It's two parts sand to one part salt, and you can see the crystals inside, which help raise the freezing point of the road once the ice and snow begin to fall. If it just starts as a snow event, We'll wait to at least one inch on the ground because there's no reason to put a plow down because we have a one inch gap between the road and the plow. But if it's an ice event, we'll get ahead of it and do pre-sanding. So as you can see, lots of preparation going on, and it's not just with equipment. Duke Energy actually has their own full-time staff of about a half a dozen meteorologists to try and help them predict where inclement weather is going to hit the hardest. Reporting from Greenville, I'm Evan Donovan, News 13.